guys, welcome back and today I'm sharing with you a full set. So I've already prepped and did my dehydration and my first coat of primer. And here I'm laying down my second coat of primer and then I'm going in with a medium sized bead of clear acrylic. Now I did press it from side to side and now I'm using the body of my brush to bring it as far to the free edge as possible. But I did need another small bead just at the tip of that extension. So I did that and then I blended it back and that was it for this nail. Now, for those of you who've been following my channel for a really long time, you guys know that I love using my clear acrylic as the base unless my client wants like a semi-permanent set. But if I'm using polish, gel polish or anything like that, I do go in with clear. It's just my preference. I would use clay or I would use Young Nails Pink, which is a very, very translucent pink. So I am just going to continue laying down my clay acrylic to all the nails except one where I just did a really thin coat of clay to protect the natural nail plate because I will be encapsulating some glitter on that nail. So I'm going to allow you to continue watching me do this and I'll meet you right back. So on the points of finger on this hand, we're going in with this gorgeous matte chunky glitter mix and we're going to fade it into the free edge of the nail. Now I did use my brush and place some glitters, the chunkier pieces, randomly at the tip. And after when I'm happy with it, I'm just going to encapsulate it with my clear acrylic. choice for this video today it's by Madame Glam and it's called Boat Trip and it's this gorgeous teal. Now this color does cover in one coat but I do apply two coats of my color just to help my clients with the wear and tear of the nails so that they last a little longer than two weeks and I do two layers of my color really nice and thin and I cure in between each layer in my 48 watt LED light for 30 seconds. Now I did go ahead and do one white accent nail off camera which I did not realize that I didn't press record as usual. But on that nail we will be doing a fun multicolored marble. Now this is how I do my marble nails. I randomly place nail polish and I use nail polish for this. Making sure that you have a color that matches back with your flat polish which is that teal. And I use my clear jelly stamper and just squash it into those colors that are placed randomly and then I place the color on the nail. Now where I see that it needs a little more color I'm just going to randomly go in and blend and just make sure that it's really nice and pretty and I'm going to repeat the same process for the other hand. Now my client did decide that she wanted a single rhinestone to the cuticle area on the plain teal nails so that was it we just went in and did that and that was the end of this design so I'll have some pictures at the end of the video for you guys along with a short clip of what the final product looks like. As always if you enjoyed this video go ahead and click that thumbs up guys oh my god and I have some videos coming for you guys I just have to get around to doing that voiceover. These days have been so hectic with work and I've had so many weddings 
for the past two months and I still have coming up for the next month so I will have a few videos coming up for you guys so if you don't want to miss out please turn on my notifications and if you're not yet subscribed welcome to my family go ahead and click that subscribe button as always I love you guys keep safe and I will see you at the next video